It just seems something that's uh, kind of scary. You just know is exists around you like all of your life. Uh, my dad would take me out in his kayak far out into the middle of the ocean and that's how we learned how to swim. I've always felt safe in water. The ocean for me is, is just it's magic. But also just way more massive than you could ever imagine and ever interact with fully. It covers the majority of the earth, so it's something that really needs to be protected and cared for. We are about 55 miles, I believe, off the coast of Florida on the beautiful island of Bimini in the Bahamas. has many, many jewels, but Bimini is actually the gem of the jewel, the creme de la creme, so to speak. Bimini is only seven miles long, half a mile wide, and one million miles sweet. So that's it. Bimini is just a beautiful little place to be, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. Our mission is to inspire ocean stewardship. One way that we love to do that the most is through our Seawalls Artists for Oceans program that brings the oceans into the streets. Our brand purpose is to create an epic sea change for all. It means that we have to create change that's transformative, that's magical, not only for the guests that we have on board, but also for the communities we visit. So we want to show up differently. Virgin Voyages reached out to us with the objective to give a gift to the community. It was really important for us that whatever we were going to create together with Pangea Seed Foundation came from the community, that it was a collaborative process with people who called Bimini home. What were their hopes? What were they excited about with increased tourism? What were some of their concerns? At this point, Bimini appears to be losing its natural culture. For example, let's take the mangroves. So you know, the mangroves is supposed to be a protected area. That's the bonefish seabed. They're now building homes in that area. We depend solely almost on our fisheries. We need to protect our coral reef and ensure that it lasts for a longer generation and for a lifetime. So we're hoping that through art, we can increase dialogue on important issues facing the ocean and also celebrate the local culture, the local place, the local people. So as you make something, as you paint something, as you engage with the community, you have an opportunity to magnify an idea. It's not necessarily hidden behind any walls, it's not in anyone's private house or, you know, in some museum that people feel like they can't get into or don't really belong. It's easily accessible to all sorts of people. You can create a statement piece that's right in the middle of the community. So I've always found murals to be my favorite form of art. The murals are not just there. They are there for reason and I think people are actually going to pay attention to them. My mural focuses on plastic pollution in the water. I have a school of fish swimming with a lot of common plastics. Six pack holders, red solo cup, COVID face mask, and plastic bags. We have the manta ray, we have the hammerhead, we have the bull shark, and the lemon shark. We chose those specific animals because they are local species and this is a shark sanctuary, so that we need to shed light on their importance and make sure that they don't disappear. My mural is about bonefish. And I decided to focus on doing a portrait of Ansel Saunders, who is a legendary bone fisherman here in Bimini. The community loves him. When I started painting him, they recognized him immediately on the wall. Ansel Saunders is this island's wise man. He and his brother are very much the historians of Bimini. And it was our honor to be able to create a mural that is a tribute to him. Lemon sharks spend a good chunk of their lives in the mangrove forest, and so they very much use it for protection and as a nursery. It's one of the most interesting plants because, you know, it's something that exists both above and underwater, which isn't very common. So for me, it was like important to kind of infuse this with the culture of the Bahamas and Bimini, like including like the Jankunu headdress and kind of blending that in with the mangroves. On a deeper level, it's not so much a situation now where it's people and then the nature, like we're all 
like so connected and I feel like it's good to have imagery that connects people to that so when they look at it they can feel When we look at human beings, we play a major role in the destruction of our planet. The children need to understand what it is that they can and cannot do in order to protect the Earth. So I included the hand because I wanted to also bring attention to the fact that we need to take care of it. Two sides of the mural, you can see the color faded. That represents the bleached coral. The center has this really, really vibrant red coral, and that is what the coral should look like. It houses so many animals and it does so much for the ecosystem. To me, it almost seems like it's the heart of the ocean. It's always so key to get the artist into the environment, interacting with the community, and often that also changes the way they create art and they'll tweak their designs and make sure that their, that their artwork reflects the place and the people. Saturday was extremely fun. The kids were overjoyed. That is actually some of their first time painting a wall, so they were very excited to do that. We don't have much to do for the kids. And you know, we have lots of children on this island, so we don't have a lot of things for the kids to do. So that's a big, big part of, you know, not just boosting their morale, but getting them involved. After we were done with the painting, we went on the beach and we did a little clean up of Radio Beach. For me, I was kind of disappointed. I was not aware that the beach was so dirty. It prompted me to want to do more. Try to make it more like a routine where I take the students out and we do a beach cleanup on a regular basis so that at least we can maintain that environment and keep that area clean because it is our natural resource and we must protect and keep it. But I'm ready to do what it takes and I know it We underestimate the power of art you know, the influence that it can have. It doesn't have to necessarily be the answer, but it can be, you know, the question or like the beginning of the solution for something. In just at our wall, we had so many kids start pointing out the, the different animals that we had on the wall and talk about little fun facts that they knew about the sea animals. When we first got here, like it was more like, what are these people doing here? And then slowly but surely we've won them over and it's been so cool. They're wonderful people. They acknowledge you, they acknowledge what you're doing. Everyone honks and gives me praise and they're like, thank you so much for doing this for us. When I drive around the community and I see these murals and I think they add so much luster and it kind of restores my sense of pride being a Bohemian. But at least we can see that something has been done to help us revitalize and become more patriotic again. I hope that the tourists would actually get the message loudly and clearly. The beauty of Bimini is in the sea, so we have to protect the sea. Hopefully that message would be portrayed. Keep Bimini clean, protect what you love. Mm. Just looking at it, yeah. <laughs>